you say? Yes. Kept me awake half the night. Not drumming. No, why? The ghostly drummer. Have we got one? We're supposed to have. Well, on the roof. <laughs> have you seen Gudgeon? No. Mm. Well, the front door is open and he is nowhere to be seen. <laughs> we know where he is. Where? where? Poor old Gutch. No, not dead. On the roof. Uh, oh. Well, what's he doing up there? Well, inspecting it, of course. Uh, like us jolly thorough. He was up there yesterday with that soldier. So soldier? You, you mean that policeman went up there with him? What's wrong, Sir George? Policeman on the roof with Gudgeon. Mm. Banging and hammering in the night. Oh, it's blood. What's the riot? Don't like the sound of it. If only we could get out of the house. He can. Yes. But can you? Easy. Very well, then. Forward! Oh, excuse me, sir. Right. Well, as you were. Upward! That's nearly 200 square feet they've taken. Lead's fetching a good price, you know, even today. They did cheadle some church about six weeks back and got away with two lorry loads. They're organised. How long before I can have your estimate, Mr. Sands? Oh, it shouldn't take long. Have you any idea how much? Well, you'll not see much change out of £2,000. Money Gudger needs it, and we ain't got a farthing. Ain't there anything in the house he could sell? Ah, me daft son. The place is empty. Well, what about the cellars? There's a lot of stuff down there. Nothing but rubbish. Well, how do you know there might be something valuable? Because if there had been, Gudgeon would have found it by now. No, he wouldn't. Because he never goes down there. Did he? No. Frightened he might see something. By George, you're right. Oh, oh, oh. Hey. Why don't we the... look? Great heavens! What's that, Sir George? My old cricket bat, Fanny. Uh, yeah. oh, played for the gentleman, you know. Yeah. 1858. Mm. Rain stopped play. Hey, look. <laughs> Up the uproars. Sir George. Ah. No. Letters, lawsuits, camps, nothing of value there. Sir George. Oh. Remember Lady Agatha's parrot? Yes. Mm. Rank stout. Oh. Really? Fool. Lady Agatha. Parrot drank gin. Hey. Yes, sir. What's that? Who is it? I don't know. Ah, miserable looking curb, ain't he? Uh, Who's that, Sir George? Nobody I know. Uh, is it you? Certainly not. Well, oh, something moaned. Whenever anything moans, you always think it's me. You don't know you're doing it after the time it's like biting your fingernails. I never put my fingernails in my life. And I haven't started since. 
I didn't say you did bite your fingernails. I said it was like, but... Ginny, your fingernails. Hello? We've disturbed something. Who's there? Stand and unfold yourself. You don't want to. <clears throat> now, look here, old boy. There's absolutely no need to be shy. We're all in the same Quite. boat, ain't we? There's nothing to be ashamed of. So, do put in an appearance. There's a good chap. Couldn't be old Corey, could it? No, he doesn't haunt down here. Oh. I, uh... I don't like the sound of it. No, do I. It's very rude to be heard and not seen. Oh. I'm coming in a bread. Stand still. Now, pay attention. I don't know how many years you've been down here, but I am the ghost of General Sir George Uprock, ACMG. And I expect respect, especially for unspecified spectres. Well, I'm not staying down here to be howled at. No. No. Plague on you, insolent mongrel! No. Stop your noise! Very well. As you won't listen to reason, we'll take all that we found and return to the Great Hall. Forward! Uh, uh. Oh, no, it's followed us up here. Uh. Avant you, old cacophony! Uh. It knows. knows what? About the roof. No, that ain't it. I think one of these belonged to it and it wants us to put it back. <coughs> oh, it's bad, Boris. I think you've hit it. Yes, but which one? Uh, is it this you want? <coughs> oh, how about that? That's mine! This? Or this? <coughs> That. Yeah, better get rid of it. Wouldn't have got much for it anyway, ugly old thing. No way. Let me have another look at that. Oh, do be quiet. I do know who this is of. You do? Yeah, and so do you, Fanny. Do I? Yeah, and a bloody good likeness it is too. Is it? Yeah. Don't you remember? We haunted it once. We've haunted lots of people, Bob. I mean, you can't expect a fellow to remember all of them, can you? But you wouldn't forget. That one. But I have done, haven't I? The miser of Motley. Sir Peveril. Sir Peveril, of course. Oh, it's, it's all coming back to me. Yes. That, that, don't you remember how we used to sit there counting his gold, holding his jewels up to the light, yes. chuckling away to himself, mad as my butter he was. Yes. And he buried the lot before he died. Who rotten old hawker bait. <laughs> well, he were. I doubt that. He wouldn't tell anyone. No. Well, try the old skin flint. Yes, flint. go on, try. <coughs> Sir Peveril. Uh, uh, gets about, doesn't he? Sorry we moved to your bus. Uh, and you, you miss. <laughs> but we're going to put it back. We need help on another matter, see? Some thieves have taken the lead off the roof and it's going to cost a tidy sum to repair it. Good. Well, go I'll ask him. Yeah. Uh, 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 and we thought, if you could see your way clear to tell us where you buried your lovely money. No! If you mention money, go for sure. Don't you care what happened to Motley? That old miser, the place could collapse for all he'd care. Ah, uh, Peril... Peril... No, it's... Sir Peveril, do be reasonable. We don't want it, it's no use to us. But your money... See? Money! Money! Money, 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 money! Well, if he won't tell us where it is, maybe we could find it for ourselves. I wish we could. But where do we start? That's true. There's absolutely nothing to go on. Tight-fisted old stump! Oh, don't antagonise him. It's no good you anymore, can't you see? Don't work yourself up, Bodkin. He won't ever change. I sometimes wonder if there's treasure to find. 
But it must be somewhere. Mm, needling the haystack. Uh, how long do you think he's going to go on making that awful noise? Till we put that thing back. Mm, yeah. Oh, just a minute. What is it? I thought so. What? There's an inscription. Well, it's a paper lap, I expect. No, no, no. More words than that. I wonder. What? Uh, it could be. Could be what? I might be. A clue. Oh, a clue, yeah. yeah. A clue to where the treasure is buried. <laughs> What does he say? My secret safe from all my foes, for Tib's the only one who knows. Tib? Who Tib. is Tib? No idea. Ain't much of a clue, is it? Ain't much like Sir Peveril either. Oh, it is. I mean him no. telling anyone. But telling anyone what? Well, he buried the treasure. I mean, Tib would have dug it up right away. Well, perhaps he... or she he did. No, no, but he says his secret's safe because of Tib's knowing. Well, it wasn't his wife. Why not? Because he didn't have one. Yeah. Oh. Then he must have been a friend he could trust. Tim. Didn't have any of them either. Like I am it, wasn't he funny? Who? Sir Peveril uproar, you great puddin'. Oh, yes, yes, absolutely. No friends at all. It was all rather miserable in those days, wasn't it, Boris? Going awfully quiet, ain't it? Could Tim have been one of the servants? Ah, oh, be daft. He wouldn't have told his servants anything. Hardly ever spoke to them. Used to write them little notes. Pushed them under the door. I don't remember that. Oh. Little notes telling him what to get for him to eat and what he wanted for his cat and... Oh, yeah, what awful flea-ridden thing. Yeah. <laughs> I could never understand why Peppers was so fond of that thing. Do you know, it was the only thing he ever talked to. A parrot, yes. What did you say? Mm -hmm. What did you say? Uh, I said, um, oh, the, the cat was the only thing he ever talked to. Notwithstanding. What was its name? Mm -hmm. What was its name? Tibby. Tibby! <laughs> Francis, sometimes I wonder how you can possibly be so... so... Yes. Uh, never mind. Well, no wonder the treasure's hiding place is still a secret if he only told his cat. So much for your clues, madam. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I think I preferred the howling. Oh. Yeah. He doted on that old moggy. Remember how he built a memorial to it? Gloriana, I forgot about that. A memorial to yeah. Tim? It's gone quiet again. It is. Where was this catafalque? Eh? Tim's memorial? Somewhere in the ground. I seem to remember a little stone temple in the grounds when I was a boy. The gardeners used to sharpen their billocks on it. I wonder if that could be it. Jeremy, that sounds just a thing to hide the treasure in. <laughs> Hit the nail on the head, ain't it, you old blubberer? By George Bunkin, I believe he has. We have it in the monument. Worry, are you wrong anxious, eh? Money bag. But where is the monument? In the kitchen garden. My father had it moved. Where to? I'm not sure. I was away at school at the time. He didn't get rid of it altogether, did he, Sir George? No, it's in the grounds. I'm sure it is. Or was. But I can't remember where. You must, Sir George. The fate of Muckley is in your hands. Oh, stop being so dramatic. I'm doing my best. Wait a minute. Yes, I seem to remember an ivy-covered shed nearby. Man. An ivy-covered shed. I'll find it. Oh, the young fool's going the wrong way. Are you sure, Sir George? Of course I'm sure! 
it, I won't find it down there. Why can't the idiot see he's going wrong? Come back, man! Come back! Keep calm, Sir George. He can't hear you. Calm. Calm. By the battle. Oh, Gloriana. Great Gladstone. He's out. I'm out. So do I. I'll tell you one thing, though. We've got twice as much chance of finding the treasure now, ain't we, Sir Peveril? I don't know what to tell you. <clears throat> Going the wrong way. It's over there. But you can... But you're out! You're out of Motley! <clears throat> yes. Well, I thought you might need some assistance. Have the others got... No. No, they haven't mastered it yet. Forward! Sir George! Uh, Ivy covered shed! Sir George? In memory of Tib. Jiminy, anything else? Her little tongue shall never wag. To let the cat out of the bag. Oh, it's bad. What's that? Cat awards. Hollow. I know that, but how does the wretched thing open? By heavens, we can't be beaten now. It's in there. Open up, blast you! Oh! Ah! Ooh. Sir George! What? Aha! fools. My gold is gone. Now I am dead. It's secret, locked within my head. We've been led by the nose, ain't we? Like a brace of donkeys. <laughs> He's changed his tune again. Something's wrong. I can sense it. Oh, dear. Bamboozled by that ghastly old ghoul. What now, Sir George? Well, well, we've suffered a setback, that's all. We'll return to HQ, regroup, and plan another sortie. Come on. Uh, after you. He's tricked us. There was no gold, no jewels. Just another message to tell us what fools we are. Where's Sir George? He's 
yourself in a bit of trouble. Can't you get back in? <laughs> what? See if you can help me before he blows himself up. Shit. I can't do it. I can't do it. Of course you can. If you got out, you must be able to get back in. Why must I? Stands to reason. Reason has nothing to do with it. You said you'd mastered it. That was getting out. Here, hold me hand. One, two, three. Oh, Wick. You should never have gone out. Very silly of him. Don't despair, Sir George. <laughs> funny, ain't it? Very funny, ain't it? I'll teach you how to make a fool of me, you. Disembodied, money-grabbing old catch penny. I'll have you consigned to limbo for the rest of eternity. No! No, limbo's too good for you! I'll have you sent down! Oh! Where are you, old devil? Come out and fight like a... Come out and fight! place on his own. Yeah, he'd be lost. Absolutely. Yeah. I mean, he's a good-hearted enough sort of chap, but, well, in my opinion, the fella definitely lacks flair. Inability to cope with emergencies. What's insurance? Let's things get on top of him. Bit of a ditherer, don't you know? What's insurance, Sir George? In fact, it's jolly lucky for him that... Insurance! Is it money? Godjean said... Insurance! Why on earth didn't I think of it? Of course! Motley is bound to be insured! Do you mean that uh, all... He don't need it, never did. Oh. All that bother for nothing. Oh. They're coming in. Oh. Quick, hide the treasure. Uh, hide the uh, Where? Uh, the secret uh, passage. Secret. Uh, Thank you. 